Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk video. I'm your host, Attention and ADHD coach Jeff Copper, and I'm here today uh, with a tip for all the parents um, out there. Um, when it comes to working with your children, um, I made this realization in a different way, but uh, uh, this is one I think that you can maybe re react to. When you're lecturing your kid, if you stop and think about it, uh, the kid is actually in control of that conversation. Uh, also, the more you lecture, it actually demonstrates your willingness to negotiate. And often as parents, we hear about how um, you're not supposed to talk a lot to teens and you're not supposed to go on and on. It really speaks to really just kind of what I'm saying. And again, if you're lecturing and going on and on and on, realize that they're in control of the conversation, not you, and you're demonstrating your willingness to negotiate. And so I like these particular tips. Um, as a parent because if you are the parent of a child with ADHD, in order for you to execute this, you yourself have to regulate your attention and your emotions at the same time, which is really the centerpiece of uh, ADHD. It's not so much of a deficit of attention, but really rather a self-regulation issue. And I've said this before in other tips and in other videos. Uh, Dr. Barkley always explained that, think of ADD as a two-layer two uh, two system. There's the automatic brain and the executive functioning brain. The executive functioning brain is very effortful. It's got to step in and override that automatic brain. So if you're a parent and you find yourself lecturing your kids, notice is that you're going to that automatic response and you yourself need to kind of pause, inhibit that response and override it with a more thoughtful response. Um, more, more brevity, more directness uh, for all the reasons I've just described. So if you are the parent of an ADHD child, I encourage you to consider this particular tip. I also consider uh, ask you to consider uh, when you do this as an attention exercise, you yourself have to exercise the ability to override that automatic brain, uh, which is a little bit of a challenge, and I think it might give you a little bit of empathy for what your ADHD uh, child or, or teen are going through. So we hope you enjoyed uh, this tip. Uh, we encourage you to subscribe to Attention Talk video at the button uh, below. Uh, we have lots of tips, both for parents, kids, adults, uh, just really anybody impacted by those with ADHD. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk video. Take care.